What's going on, YouTube? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Comic fans, we're going to talk about the sensational Black Hammer Library Edition today, as well as what's going to be contained in the upcoming Library Editions Volume 2 and World of Black Hammer, along with what should be coming in a future Volume 3 or World of Black Hammer Volume 2. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. All right, before we dive into the universe of Black Hammer, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We post videos daily. Be sure to give us a huge thumbs up too. That really helps us out. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's talk about Black Hammer, one of the greatest comic books I have ever read in my life uh, by a fellow Canadian, Jeff Lemire, um, with artwork by Dean Ormston. An insane creative team. Um, bringing to life an insane universe. Uh, this is a story uh, that revolves around these characters that have found themselves trapped in a, in a little farm farmland, rural town area. And you know, these, these guys used to be superheroes. They were sort of the golden age heroes of their universe. And of course, um, now, now they're in this location. Um, Black Hammer is the name of the farm. It's also the name of one of the characters in this, in this universe. Uh, you know, you got characters like Talkie Walkie, Colonel Randall Weird, um, Abraham Slam, Golden Gale, uh, Barbalian. Uh, it's it's a, a set of really great characters that, uh, of course, mirror big two characters. But uh, Jeff Lemire really takes them on a spin. The universe is very different from anything in the in the big two. While there are, of course, similarities in character designs and events happening, the way things unfold and the way the universe uh, sort of treats itself and, and the atmosphere around it, uh, it's very dark. It's very gloomy. You know, the, the biggest challenge that these characters now have to overcome is living a normal life. And they're sort of, again, trapped in this weird little zone. They, they've tried to leave. Uh, they can access a town nearby, but they start noticing things like the town history books have nothing in them. And, uh, you know, they, they're obviously trying to figure out a way to get out of there. Um, there, you know, we get glimpses of what's happening on Earth at this time, too. Of course, we get flashbacks throughout the series of origin stories, where Barbalian came from, how Colonel Randall Weird is in the situation he's in now, how he knows Talkie Walkie, uh, you know, how Barbalian wound up uh, on Earth and doing what he did in uh, in his universe. Of course, he's struggling with other personal problems of his. You get to see these characters interact, of course, with the townsfolk and uh, try to build relationships and try to make do with what they've got in this situation. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. You get 13 issues in this volume, which collects pretty much, you know, the Black Hammer uh, series. Of course, there's been a whole lot of stuff since then, little spin-off titles and whatnot, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, I just want to talk a little bit more about how much I love this series. It's completely unexpected. While the characters do have certain stereotypes, they break out of them. And you get a, a really diverse cast here that's, uh, you know, struggling with things that you don't see superheroes struggle with on a regular basis in other superhero comic books. Uh, it's really well done. Um, the artwork suits it perfectly. It's not incredibly detailed. We'll take a look at it closer in a little bit for you uh, folks that haven't seen the inside of the Black Hammer Library Edition. Of course, it's got the bookmark. It's got all that fancy stuff. We'll get into those details too. Let's take a second though to talk about uh, the upcoming volumes. We've got Volume 2 dropping later this year. We've also got the World of Black Hammer Library Edition dropping this year. All of this stuff is going to be essential. You're going to want to pick it up if you enjoyed this uh, book. You know, in Volume 2, you're going to get Black Hammer Age of Doom 1 through 12, and then the one shot Cthulhu. Cthulhu uh, in World of Black Hammer, you get Sherlock Frankenstein and the Legion of Evil, and a Doctor Star in the Kingdom of Lost Tomorrows. Now, the reason uh, I believe there's going to be a Volume 3, probably, a, you know, a Volume 4 as well at some point, it might be a World of Black Hammer Volume 2, 3 kind of thing, but. Um, Right now, uh, Jeff Lemire's finishing up uh, as a Gravedigger and Skullboy, and then he's got a Randall Weird series starting in May, I believe, May 2020, if I'm not mistaken. And and then, you know, they still haven't collected Black Hammer 45, which was a four-issue mini, and then um, Black Hammer The Quantum Age, which was a six-issue mini. So that stuff is not even included in these upcoming library editions, at least from what I've seen. Uh, wherever it's solicited so you know we've at least got another volume between um, 45 and quantum age and then you know uh, gravedigger and skullboy with six issues the randall weird uh, minis either going to be four five or six issues so 
a lot of content coming from Black Hammer. It's all, again, I've only read this volume, but from what I've seen with reviews and other people who have spoken about the other series, they're incredible. So I'm very much looking forward to see, reading those in this nice library edition format. But uh, let's take a look, a little closer look at the books themselves. All right, well, now we got the book in front of us. So for those of you, if you're not familiar with a library edition and what the difference is between it and other, you know, uh, books, it's basically, you know, it's mostly about the size of the book, really. Of course, there's some bonus content in there as well that we'll get into, but it's really the size. Um, it's a giant book. Here's a regular size hardcover. This is the size of a regular comic. Big difference, right? I mean, uh, pretty substantial difference. But, uh, man, let's, uh, let, let's start taking a look at this thing. So, really cool cover there. Um, I love the spine design as well. It's really nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what the, uh, the other ones look like. Knowing Dark Horse, they are going to match. And then on the back, you get to see all the characters in their hero form. And then, of course, you get the uh, what it collects. So, it does collect the giant size annual as well. I did miss that. Um, if you're curious about the price, it's $50 US dollars, 66 Canadian which is pretty nice considering the size of this thing. So uh, let's take the dust jacket off here. Underneath it, you get the same cover, same spine, same back. Pretty consistent, pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty big book coming in at, you know, 14 issues. You get an intro by Warren Ellis here. Um, sorry, guys, I must have missed the table of contents. You got that. I guess there is no table of contents, which makes sense. Don't really need it, but um, show you guys some artwork here. And so you you know you get introduced to all these characters at the start. This is a mature book. There are f bombs. There are there are there's mature subject matter in this. Uh, so you know, make sure you're an adult reading it. Um, you know, you get characters here like this is Talkie Walkie. This is Colonel Randall Weird. Uh, strange guy you do get to find out what happened to him you get to see like I said they interact with the townsfolk um, just trying to live their lives just trying to accommodate to the situation they're in deal with the the hand they've been dealt you do find out how they got there of course um, like I said you get to see origin stories for all these characters you got Barbalian here um, you know you had these great variant covers by Jeff Lemire as well um, it's cool. It's cool. Getting to see it all on this big size page is fantastic. Um, and you know, you really do get to connect with these characters. You know, you see them go through their own story arcs each as well. Um, with fantastic artwork, in my opinion, I think it suits the series really well. Get to find out origin stories again. Barbalians here. You get to see how he came from Mars and all that fun stuff. Get flashbacks to when, how he came, how, how folks came up. Um, what they were dealing with before the situation, how they were dealing with it, um, you know, the, the the changes they had to go through. And, you know, there's an out, there's an issue here where um, Abraham Slam basically has to get a different outfit because it's the 90s and times are changing and he's got to get a little more extreme. Uh, so there's, you know, there, there's little things like that. Finding out what the deal is with Colonel Weird is, uh, is an incredible thing. And of course, you do get similarities to you know big two stories with like this swamp thing kind of character but uh it's it's all done in such a creative way and in such a brilliant way the situation these characters have been put in by jeff lemire is uh it, it's really interesting seeing all the characters interact with their loved ones and with each other um, and seeing everything that happens is uh is, is pretty great i don't want to spoil too much but while we're in the middle here take a look at that there's your eye hole pretty solid um, it is a library edition. It's pretty heavy. You're not going to be walking around with this thing and reading it as you as you walk and sit down on the on the subway or anything like that. But um, it's great getting to see this artwork in, in such a massive format. And here you get, you know, let's let's dive to this. Get to the start of the. You get to see the real secret origin about how this was like one of the first things Jeff Lemire wrote, and um, yeah, didn't get around to doing it up until now concept artwork, character bios, sketchbook. It's cool. I like it. I, I like this background material. It's cool seeing the process, how, you know, designs evolved over time, how the world got built. This is nice. Dean Ormston scans. Dope. 
it's so nice it's so nice i'm ex i can't wait to see what we get in volume two and uh, world of black hammer it's going to be fantastic this is a, a great universe that i'm glad you know dark horse really sunk into of course it was um i think it won yeah best new series in 2017 it's a highly acclaimed series so i'm not surprised at the same time but it's great that they just said let's do it you got the mignola verse now you got the black hammer universe as well coming out of dark horse you, you should pick this up you should pick this up while you can um you know it, it'll go out of print like all dark horse library editions do and it'll be hard to find and with the upcoming volumes too it's going to be nice once you've got three or four of these bad boys sitting on your shelf oh it's going to be real nice um this is a great volume dark horse always kills it on the library editions let me know if you guys have picked this up what you thought of black hammer let me know if i've convinced you to pick this up you really should and uh if you got any more questions let us know down below be sure to subscribe hit that like button for us guys it really 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 helps us out and if you are going to subscribe be sure to hit that notification bell as well so you know whenever we upload a new video thank you guys all very much for tuning in this is mike from the hardcover comic until next time as always you stay classy internet